Hello students, welcome to all of you to today's class. Today in this class we are going to read your book 2, okay? And the chapter is the monkey's paw. Monkey's paw means what? Monkey means what? Mankado. Paw means sponja. So here monkey's paw is mentioned means originally this is the paw of a monkey which is being mentioned here. And this one is being written by W.W. Jacobs, okay? At the same time it is written dramatized by Mara Rockleaf. So what do you mean by dramatize? This is an one act play actually. And these are the one act play which are being staged on the stage. Means stage performance is being done by taking this story. Got it? Let me tell you one thing. W.W. Uh, w. Jacobs whose full name is William Waymark Jacobs is taken birth on 8th September of 1863 and died on 1st December of 1943. And here, this W.W. W. Jacob is very famous for his thrilling writing. Means, so many times, uh, most of his work used to give, means something, some creepy feelings. At the same time, it is mentioned uh, that horror is there in the story. And particularly this chapter, the monkey's paw is a horror story. Got it? Uh, before telling you, means before we start teaching, let me tell you one thing. This monkey's paw, a short movie is also there. Uh, you can check it in YouTube. Uh, that is uh, Monkey's Paw. The movie was the duration was 29 minutes something. Uh, got the point? You can watch that one also. That one means uh, here I am going to speak you the story. But there you can watch it. Though the dialects are not properly mentioned there. Got it? Uh, to some extent for the entertainment purpose also you can uh, watch it. So here actually there is a family mention. The family is uh, Mr. White, okay. So, Mr. White, his uh, uh, wife, Mrs. White and his son, Herbert. These three are the major characters in this story, in this one act play. And here, there is also another character named Sergeant Major Morris. This man was working in the army. So, this Sergeant Major Morris did pay visit to the house of Mr. White. Understood? So, Mr. White, Mrs. White, their husband and wife and Herbert is their only son who is 19 years old. Okay? Only 19 years. Mr. White and Mrs. White who are the husband and wife. They have a family and they have a family who is Herbert. Herbert is a family who is 19 years old. And uh, Sergeant Major Morris uh, was a tall, heavy man with a ruddy complexion who served with the British Army in India for 21 years. And this Major Morris was living in India but he was working in the British Army for 21 years. He has been working in India. Got the point? Means, Ekwesi Barsadhari is a British Army re thile. Ebang se se samare Bharat re hi thile. Because at that time, India was not independent. Got the point? Setting. So, before we start the one play, normally in most of the one play, the scene is being mentioned or the setting is mentioned. Likewise, here it is also mentioned the White family's home. So, this is the home of White's family in a newly developed English suburb. Suburb means what? Something which is there in the outskirts of the city. Mane city ra boundary ko lagi ki, ba boundary ra bahare. Boundary is not referring to a particular boundary, it is not referring to a fence. Okay, boundary mane fence baada ko bujun means periphery. So, town ro outskirt re, city ro outskirt re, gote just jode ki mukhoche sahara tali anchala, jode ki completely develop hai nathu, dhire 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 development hao dhuva. So, in that area, Mr. White's family was there. Okay, so White's family home is a newly developed English suburb around 1920. So, 1920, the evil returns, there is a movie. Okay, so 1920 London is also a movie, though I have not seen that one, but 1920, the evil returns I have seen. Okay, ghost story. So, this one also is a ghost story. So, let's start and this incident has taken place around 1920. That's why the name is been, it is the year is also mentioned that 1920. Scene 1, first scene, listen, you just go through the book because uh, in this chapter, uh, I don't think that there are a number of difficult words. It's quite easy to you to understand. In the meantime, any doubt you have, you can ask me question via YouTube. You also can join that, uh, my Telegram group, group also you can join. Scene 1, we will complete in two classes. Okay. 
but the condition is that whenever I'm teaching, you just go through your books so that it would be quite easy for you to understand. A dark and stormy winter night. So the time was, it was a dark night, stormy. Stormy means what? Jhoda bata sapurno, gote ondharva rati. The sound of heavy rain. Listen, as this is the one act play, that's why first the scene, the setting is mentioned, means the surrounding kemti how is the climate, the atmosphere is how and how people are reacting to the situation. So all these things are mentioned here. The sound of heavy rain can be hot and an occasional thunderclap. So what was audible? Sound of heavy rain was audible. Jordar borsa hochi, bhishan prachanda borsa hochi, thunderclap means what? You just think, suppose you are alone at home, it was late night, it was 11 o'clock or 1 a.m. and there is no one in the home and there is heavy rain outside. Apart from this, there is thundering and lightning and electricity went up. You are alone at that time, you are watching a horror movie. So, you just imagine what you might feel. So, horror movie, current से समय रे बाहर घड़घड़ी से तो बरसा होची बिजली मारची किछि नै तमे हॉरर मूवी देखतलो देयर इज नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी राइट नाउ हाउ यू माइट फील सो यू जस्ट ट्राई लिसन व्हेनेवर यू आर रीडिंग समथिंग इफ सम कैरेक्टर्स आर देयर यू जस्ट ट्राई टू पिक्चर इट योरसेल्फ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द कैरेक्टर यू जस्ट इमेजिन इट सो दैट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्टोरी इदर इट इज अ पोएम और इट इज अ स्टोरी और व्हाटएवर इट इज यू जस्ट फाइंड आउट योरसेल्फ एज द मेन कैरेक्टर ओके so, the white, the white's living room is cozy. Cozy means what? Comfortable. Cozy and bright. But the white's living room, drawing hall was quite means uh, cozy and comfortable. Mr. White and Herbert play chess. So, uh, what is mentioned here? Mr. White and Herbert means uh, father and the son, they are playing chess. While Mrs. White needs, by the fire, need means what? To knit something, when I am jo wool re look, sorry, jo sweater bunu je, okay? Sweater, scarf, I am jo bunu je na, that one is known as knitting, buni ba. Herbert is winning. But in the chase, what is happening? Herbert is winning instead of Mr. White. And you know, you just imagine, whenever you are playing Ludo, ghar ekabe Ludo khel jo. So, Ludo khel la bale, jodhi tam mene jitto chada it's okay. Jodhi hari jau cha, how is your reaction? You just try to imagine, then you can understand why Mr. White was reacting like this. Huh, of course, uh, I, I got terribly angry. That's why I don't play Ludo. Because by playing Ludo and by playing snake and ladder, only there will be means uh, disturbance. So, avoid. But still, you must have played throughout your lifetime. You just uh, means, uh, till now you must have played it. Try to imagine. Not looking too good for you, is it that? Then Herbert is speaking that it doesn't seem good to you. Means, Aji laguni, je, tamo pai time kichi bhalo achi. Mr. White, could you please be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. He pauses another moment, then makes a move. Listen to that wind howling out there. Howling means what? I mean, the kids are silent atmosphere. The bob, pavan, bhalle, pavan, the su su of the subyo. That one is known as howling. Okay. So, when Herbert is speaking, that dad, J. Daddy, because Mr. White is uh, defeating and Herbert is winning. And Mr. White in turn is speaking, you just silent, pati chupkar, mu khelo pare, focus korchi, mu concentrate korchi. And listen to that wind howling out there. And go to Anjay, soon, give the pobana susu of the hochi. Herbert, keeping his attention on the chessboard, I hear it. But Herbert, he was not diverting his mind. And Mr. White was trying to divert his mind from the chessboard to the climate outside. But Herbert is focusing on the chessboard and speaking, yes, yes, I hear it. Ha ha, musuni parchi. Mr. White, he owns soap. Soap means what here? Here it means appear. In a storm like this, I bet. Then Mr. White is speaking that he will not come. So definitely, the White's family was waiting for the arrival of someone. Herbert, maybe, may not be, he moves. Moves means what? Not referring to body movement. Movement of the chest dots. Okay. I bet. And he is speaking. Check. It means once again, Herbert is winning. So, Herbert is winning. Chest dots move karchundi. And coach in the check. Mr. White reaches for a chess piece. Herbert triumphant met. Mr. White pulls his hand back. Then Mr. White was going to move 
a chess means a chess stop but he stopped himself because Herbert did already win. Mr. White angrily then Mr. White became terribly angry. Yes, you do get angry when you are defeating in snake and ladder and that Ludo. Ludo au sapo khalare. Jodhi tamuko kahara sapo khai dela. You know how is your reaction. So likewise, as Mr. White was defeating, Jethu Mr. White did haru thile, so he was reacting it heavily, angrily. I can't stand, that's what, I can't stand about living out in the middle of nowhere like this. Then what is he speaking? I can't stand, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay in a place where it is, means, where, uh, means, uh, what you say, that Jemtiki, this place is nowhere in the country. Se kohuchunje, Sethi bhai mori rohya ko icha kuni, jemti ki amma jagata country ra bahare ochi. Every time it rains, the roads get flooded and no one can get out here. Every time it rains and whenever there is rain, there is flood and no one can get out of the home. Je jethi bhai bhai borsa ochi ri bonya hai jochi, ok hi bhai bahar ko jai parunandi. And what do these, those politicians in town to do about it? Nothing. I suppose our three boards just don't count. Then Mr. White is speaking. Politician many town de basi kono kuchun se They are doing nothing. What's the hell they are doing in the town? And I think our votes are not having value. Amma tinjo nagar voter kichhi be mulya nahi. Who is speaking? Here Mr. White is speaking these things. Uh, region March he was angry. Mrs. White soothingly. Never mind, dear. Maybe you will win the next game. Then Mr. Mrs. White, his wife is able to understand the reason behind his anger and is speaking. Don't mind, mind, my dear. <coughs> Next time <coughs> Mr. White looks up sharply and sees Mrs. White and Herbert smiling at him. Then Mr. White was looking at the chessboard, suddenly he looked like this. And he noticed that Herbert and his wife, they both were looking at him and smiling. In amusement, his annoyance fades and he smiles guiltily. And when he noticed that his wife and his son, they both were smiling at him, his all his anger evaporated. And now he also started smiling. Smiling guiltily. Likewise, he started smiling. A gate bangs and there was the banging of door. And heavy footsteps are, a gate bangs means there was the sound of opening of gate. And heavy footsteps are heard approaching the door. And they were able to listen that someone wearing heavy shoes was coming near the door. Herbert sounds like he made it after all. Then Herbert is speaking, I feel he came after all. After all, he came to our home. Mr. White goes to the door and greets Sergeant Major Morris who comes in and begins wiping his feet, shaking out his umbrella, etc. Listen. Whenever you are reading in one act play, always remember one act play re, sabo bale tamara moods or physical activity be mentioned haba. Bujhi parlo, even when dialogues are not there. See what is mentioned here. <coughs> Sergeant Major Morris, he came, begins wiping his feet, pada pochi va aram hukale, on the doormat, shaking out his umbrella, umbrella tanga chhata gamdi jhaadi le because it was raining outside, etc. Mr. White, introducing them, Sergeant Major Morris, my wife, and this is our son Herbert. Then Mr. White introduced Major Morris to his wife and son. They shake hands and the three older people sit down while Herbert goes to fix tea. So then what did happen? Mr. White, Mrs. White and Major Morris, they all three sat and they started gossiping when Herbert went to make tea. Mr. White, glad you made it. We didn't know if you would come out in the storm. Then. Here, Mr. White is speaking glad. We are happy that you came because we are thinking that in this stormy night you may not come. Morris, storm, this little sour. Then Morris is speaking storm. Jhoda, eda thin sour drizzling. E jibi jibi borsa hoji. Chuckles, chuckles means smile. You would not think much of this if you had ever been holed up in Bombay during the monsoon season. Now, there are some storms, let me tell you. Then what is Major Morris speaking? Major Morris is speaking that this is storm. This is thin sour of rain. And you do not think much of this. Je tome iso besi bhabi bani jadithi Bombay re. Means India ra Bombay, Mumbai re. It is mentioned 
hold up not hold up hold is not mentioned h o l e d hold up here it means to take shelter in a hole or to take shelter in a place where rain water can't enter understood <coughs> means to fix up means people are fixed up in a place uh, where they are unable to go out that one is known as hold up there in the monsoon season now there are storm uh, some storms let me tell you but tamana bai kichu gode jhoro means jhoro batya holya kichu gode news achi that i'm going to give you did you live in india long time sergeant major then mrs white is speaking mr major were you living in india for a long time apuna bharat re bahut barsha roi chanti ki mr white 21 years he has been gone when he joined up with the army he was not a day older than hobart there and neither i neither was i for that matter we started out in the warehouse together <laughs> warehouse means what type of storehouse okay where last number of goods are being stored then mr white is speaking he was 19 years old he was not much more older than hobart when he started his job in india and he and i we were in the charge of the warehouse morris well time flies time flies then major morris is speaking yes that's right but time flies समय धीरे धीरे चली जाऊ फ्लाइस उड़ी उड़ी चल जा हवट ब्रिंगिंग द टी आई लाइक टू गो टू इंडिया सी द ओल्ड टेम्पल्स मे बी कैच वन ऑफ दोज होली मैन परफर्मिंग मेराकल्स देन हरबर्ट इज स्पीकिंग दैट आई उड लाइक टू गो टू इंडिया मत इंडिया जीवन को बहुत इच्छा हो मु इंडिया जीवन को पसंद करी मुझे जी आम साधु सन्यासी मान सहित देखा करी जो मैंने कि मेजिक मेराकल परफर्म करुवे इंडिया समथिंग विल हापेन So, and Morris shaking his head and singing, uh, sighing, "You are better off here." Then Mr. Morris is doing like this, "You are better here." Eight years ago, then I have heard a lot. Who is speaking? Mr. Morris is speaking. Hubbard, but you must have all kinds of great stories to tell the places you saw, the people you met. Then. Uh, Herbert is speaking. Then definitely you must be having some of the great stories that you have heard, and some of the great people that you, whom you did meet throughout your career, Mr. White. Does he ever? What was that story you started telling me the other day, Morris, about a monkey spot or something? Then Mr. White is speaking. Yes, he must have. And by the way, Mr. Morris, you are speaking me something on the monkey spot. Regarding the previous day, what is that about? Then, in the meantime, Mr. White is asking, "Ha, he thi was a very different looking guy. Dekhi bhi kuchhi." Acha, Major Morris, tum mathe jo din a din thole kahu thilo monkey spa bisere. Kono se monkey spa ra kono story? Morris quickly, nothing, really nothing worth hearing. Then Major Morris is speaking, nothing, nothing. Kichhi nahi, kichhi nahi. Eh, kichhi mane important story nu ha. Mrs. White, a monkey spa. Then Mrs. White is speaking, what? Monkey spa. माकड़ पंझा इस पमिन सेयर पंझा मोरिस वेल इट्स जस्ट ए बीट व्हाट यू कॉल मैजिक आई गेस देन मोरिस इज वी हा नथिंग ए जस्ट लाइक मैजिक इट इज जस्ट अ टाइप ऑफ मैजिक व्हाट वी से हर्बर्ट मैजिक द वाइट्स लुक्स एट मोरिस विथ इंटरेस्ट देन ऑल द थ्री वर्ड्स स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट मोरिस ओके समस्त मोरिस कार्ड को लक्ष्य करी चाहिले मोरिस Fumbling in his pocket, it looks like just an ordinary little paw, all dried off. Then he just brought out from his pocket something, a monkey's paw, and it was ordinary paw, just dried up. Mummy found monkey's paw. माने जो मांकड़ों का हाथ था, हाथों को सूखा जाए थी वो. Okay, dried up monkey's paw. He pulls a mummy found monkey's paw out in his pocket and holds it out. Mrs. White draws back in horror, and when he just brings out the monkey's paw from his pocket, Mrs. White just माने पछ को घुंच आसले भयर पछ को घुंच आसले बट हर्बर्ट टेक्स द प एंड लुक्स एट इट क्यूरीयसली बट हर्बर्ट हि जस्ट होल्ड द प हर्बर्ट कौन कले से मंकी स्पट को हाथ धर के मते देखिले कौन व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग इन इट मिस्टर वाइट सो व्हाट सो स्पेशल अबाउट इट देन मिस्टर वाइट इज आल्सो स्पीकिंग ओके देन व्हाट्स द स्पेशल अबाउट इट हि टेक्स द प फ्रॉम हर्बर्ट एंड एग्जामिन्स इट Then puts it down on the table. Then Mr. White, what did he do? He just took the monkey's paw from the hands of Herbert. Then examines it. Then put it back on the table. Understood? Today we are going to read this much. In the next class, we will complete unit one. Okay. So, इतने के भीतर स्टोरी बुझला. जे Mr. White, Mrs. White and Herbert, their family, Major Morris, तांको घरों को आशीष चंदी बुलिवा पाएं. 
झड़ बर्षा रात भी आसे एवं सीए गोटे मंकी स्प विषय गोटे स्टोरी कहे जोटा कि इट माइट हैव सम गुड इफेक्ट ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ मिस्टर लाइफ ऑफ व्हाइट फैमिली और इट माइट हैव सम बैड इफेक्ट ओके सो दैट विल रीड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास सो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव ए नाइस टाइम रीड वेल ऑल द बेस्ट